This is John Paul Wright. I'm coming to you from Tokyo, Japan, and today I want to talk about the women accusing Marilyn Manson in a general sense. I'm not going to get into specifics on each individual. If you want that, check out Colonel Kurtz. She's doing a great job with this case. She'll be linked below. But I want to talk about a general feeling from being unknown or trying to get a reputation and trying to get famous and what your imagination is about that and what the reality is. So I've had this channel for, I don't know, three years. And I used to get about 100 views a video, maybe 50, sometimes 70, something like that. And it wasn't so great, less than a subscriber per video. But I looked at other videos and other channels and articles and mainstream things and I'd see the views. I'd see a million views, 2 million, 3 million, 500,000, 900,000. And you think, wow, you know, if my video got that many views, I'd blow up. I'd wake up with 10,000 subscribers, my name would be all over, or if my name was headlined on something with like a million views or 600,000 views or something like that, it would be a drastic change. So what I'm trying to say is it's very speculative when you're looking at numbers and thinking about how famous people are and how many actual people they gain per video or per article or things like that. So my point getting back to these women is, what could have happened is, they might be thinking, well, I'm struggling right now, trying to do my dance thing, or trying to do my acting thing, but if I could get into an article, or a couple of videos, that get millions of views, my career might blow up. That's gonna be a big boost. So you know what? I'll get on board. I'll say, hey, Malin Manson abused me, it wasn't consensual, sign me up, I'm with these women. Then you're thinking, now my name's gonna get out there. Millions of views, videos, all kind of things like that. Followers will come in, calls will come in, offers will come in, and you know, we were a little kinky in bed. He was a little rough, so I don't feel like it was a total lie, but it's out there. And the fact is, it doesn't do so much for you. Because when you're looking at numbers behind the scenes, the stats don't match up with your imagination and how fantastic you think it would be if your name or your content was in that mix of views or got that many views. I've got friends that have broken a million on videos. I think it got them around 400, 500 subs. Now it varies. It depends on how good the video is. If it's like this really fleshed out, well-made video with some great information, you might get a much higher rate of subs per view. But that's not what we're talking about with these people who accuse Marilyn Manson, who have a dancing career, an actor career, they're mediocre. So if you put something mediocre and you give it like a million views or two million or three million, you're not gonna get a great return. You'll get some people who happen to like what you're doing, who happen to like you because you're an amateur. You're not actually a professional. And yes, I'm kind of talking about myself here. I'm talking, some people dig what I'm saying, they're subscribed, that's awesome. But the vast majority of six million people who've seen the channel, well, you could see about 15,000 have subscribed. So when you break down those percentages, it doesn't work out so good. But my imagination, if you asked me, what if your channel got six million views? I'd be like, holy shit, I'd be fit, you know, rich and famous, that would be it. I'd be like, wow, I can't imagine what would come of that. But the reality is, a good channel. Consistency. Not bad, pretty happy with it. So you can see, when you're imagining things, when you're imagining what could happen if my name got out there, connected to Marilyn Manson, connected to Evan Rachel Wood, connected to Esmond Bianco, who no one knew, by the way, before this, except as that hooker on Game of Thrones, what would happen? So they sign up. That's a possibility. So like I said, this case is not black and white. That doesn't explain everything. There are 17 women. It doesn't explain all the women, but it does explain the ones who have put their name out there. You guys, let me know what you think down below. Just something I was thinking, kind of trying to flesh out my thoughts on this. But the main point here is for these women who are not famous, they don't have a great perception of what it would be like when they get the attention and after. 
because it takes a lot more than like a couple of million views to actually get your name like cemented and continuous in the media, in the news cycle, have people making videos about you and things like that. If you're not subscribed here, consider it. I'm doing shout outs, special thanks, things like that. Again, shout out to Colonel Kurtz. I give her shout outs because she's doing like such a great job with this case as far as Malin Manson. I could never really actually get to that level with it. So check her out. She'll be linked down below. And if you're not subscribed here, consider it. I think I said that. I'll be sad if you don't subscribe. See you next time.